In this video, I'm going to show you how to use HTML image tags to embed images in your HTML documents, and we're getting started right now. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you code better so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials for you. With that out of the way, let's learn about this image tag over in the screen capture. I'll see you there. On the left hand side of your video, we have a very simple HTML page laid out. On the right hand side, we see how it renders. And we currently do not have an image tag, but we're going to add one right now. Now an image tag is self-closing, so we don't have to have an opening and closing tag. But we have to have the opening pointy bracket, and then the, the word or acronym IMG for image. And then at the very least, we have to have SRC, short for source, equals opening closing quotes, and then forward slash, and a closing pointy bracket. So this is the minimum we need for an image tag. We also need to have the, the path to an image in here to actually make it work. And all we need now is an actual image to go in here. And I'm just going to go to one of our other properties called WP done for you. And then once this page loads, I'm just going to grab the logo from the top. It's going to copy image address and just right clicking on there. I'm going to paste that image address in here. And now if we go, if we save this, we go back to our HTML page, refresh this page. We have that image inside of our HTML page. And that's how easy it is to include an image. Now some things you might also see inside of the image tag are the alt text parameter, title, sometimes you'll see width, sometimes you'll see height, and sometimes, and sometimes you might see style, if I could type it. I'm just going to add some content to each of these so you can see what they all mean. So the alt text is alternative text, so if the image doesn't load, what is going to be shown on the page? And it's also used for screen readers, for people who have visual impurities, who can't see the actual page. The screen reader will read what's in the alt text. So it has to be descriptive. So WP done for you logo will be good. And that could even be the title as well. And the width, you can actually define how big the image is with the width. So maybe you want it to be 700 pixels. And the height, you can define as well. You can have uh, either width and no height defined, so the height's defined dynamically based on the width, or you can have the height defined and no width defined, so the width is defined dynamically, or you can specify both, or you can specify neither. It's really up to you. I'm just gonna delete height and not specify it here. And in the style, you can add things like borders. So border, colon, one pixel, solid, black will make a one pixel wide solid black border around this image. So if we save this page, this file, refresh this page over here, we see what we have here. We have the image that's much bigger, it's now pixelated because it's not designed to be that big, this version of it. We have a black border. When you hover or when you leave your cursor over the image for a second, we see this little yellow box pop up. That is the title tag for the image. And if we go back and we break this URL, and refresh this page, we see that it says here WP done for you logo. I'm just gonna add, that's actually the alt text, just to prove it to you. I'm gonna add alt text to the end. So this is WP done for you logo alt text. So if images don't load properly for whatever reason, the alt text is displayed in place of the image. This is also handy to know for email marketing. If you're sending emails and people are using uh, software like Outlook, where sometimes they have to specifically say load images, the alt text is always visible. So you could write something in there like, hey, please allow images to see this awesome content, and then have a call to action there to have them allow the images. That's a digression, clearly, but Alt text is a very useful thing to take advantage of and I want you to know how it works and how to apply it and this is how it works. And that's really all there is to know about the image tag. Uh, one last thing that's kind of external to the image tag but still related is you can make it a link, a clickable link. So if we 
outside the image tag, we wrap it in a href and then make it a link. And we have the closing a tag at the end, opening a tag at the beginning, and maybe the link goes to one of our other properties, that's wplearninglab.com. We save this page, refresh this page, and we see now we hover over, we get the little pointer, pointy finger, and we click on that, on that image, and it takes us to whatever that link is, in this case, WP Learning Lab. That's all there is to the image tag. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials for you. And next up is clicking one of these videos that has popped up on the right hand side of the screen so you can learn more about coding, learn how to code better and faster and stronger and smarter. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.